Why was the black suit significant? Because, because, the background. The background. because the background. One, two, three, four. Which means he blended in. It accentuated his paleness more. Anything else? Four. He did. He did. Uh, he looked to the country. Looked like he did real bad on the uh, debate. And Kennedy looked better than him. Okay, what did Kennedy do that worked? Kennedy looked into the camera. Kennedy did look at the camera. One, two, three, four. Go. And he spoke Ken to the people. <laughs> And, uh, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. You guys have it. Keep going. He spoke to the, spoke to the people uh, directly, and people felt Kennedy more than they did. Okay, uh, okay. Nixon because Nixon Go ahead. Was um, on the radio, it sat. Well, no, no, no. What, what else did Kennedy do well? He wore Kennedy. a gray suit. Or he wore a suit. Well, so that, that did what? It, it, it contrasted. One, two, three, four with the background. Anything else? He was younger than two, then. Younger. He was younger. He, he made eye contact with the camera, the suit. Oh, oh. He had just come from California, so he was tanner. He was tan. One, two, three, four. He didn't even make up anything else you can tell me. Five. It was the first time on, I mean, it was, it was first live. Uh, yeah, first live. What were you going to tell me about the radio? Oh, um, so everyone who watched it thought that Kennedy did better based on looks, but... People who listen on the radio thought Nixon did better because of his ideas. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Kennedy actually won on TV, and it was more about substance. Nixon won on the radio, and it was more about ideas. And people thought, in fact, that Nixon thought, in fact, that he had gotten cheated. 5, 10, 50, 20, 25, 30. Oh, my God. 33. Somehow the negative 11 just disappeared. Well, yeah, they kept giving me right answers. Go ahead. Um, touch the house. Hit the light switch. Pick me a category. Y'all have life. Executive, two points. Executive for two. Executive order, executive agreement, executive privilege. First hand I see. Executive order, executive agreement. Go ahead, Ike. Executive order is when the president declares something so he doesn't have to pass it through the um, Senate or anything like that. So okay, he declares something. Like give me a little bit more because you're right. Give yeah, me more. So it's a prime example when he was talking about the Mexicans, no offense to the Latino Americans, he gave executive order that he's not depl um, depleting or deplore it. No, well, he's sending them back. He's not doing it anymore. He gave the executive order. Like, who? Who? Yeah. Which president? Uh, Obama did. Oh, Obama did. Okay, but but give me the definition before you give me executive the executive order definition is. Oh, what is that word? <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. Eight, all right. So an Obama. executive okay. order is a decree with the force of law, but not requiring legislative approval. <laughs> One, two. The president an executive, can make an executive privilege is presidential power to shield from scrutiny White House documents and. Conservations so among dead. presidents. Conversations. <laughs> Conversations. <laughs> yeah. Conservations. What the hell? And executive agreement. Executive privilege, right? Yeah, that was privilege. Oh, executive okay. agreement. Uh, a pact that is made between president and foreign leader of a government that does not require Senate approval. One, two. So, All of these are examples of the president not or being able to do something without the approval of Congress or the courts. Executive order is a domestic, a domestic exam, uh, a domestic example where the president can make law doesn't go through Congress. Can you give me a simple example of this? Five. Isaiah, can you please repeat the question? Can you give me a simple example of an executive order? Executive order. I just gave Bless you one. Way. I know it was really complicated. Give me a simple example. Go ahead. When uh, Obama wanted to naturalize all of the uh, Mexicans who live here now, just Mexicans. I no, all the illegal I said a simple one. Minus two. <laughs> Give me an example. Go, Sean's group. You guys have it. Uh, when Truman integrated the military. Truman branches. integrated the armed forces so that white and black soldiers would serve together. Anything else? FDR rounded up all the Japanese Americans and put them into camps. And put them in internment camps during World War II in theory for the safety of the country. Can you give me an example of an executive agreement? Five, four, three, <coughs> two, one. Anybody? Y'all don't want in on this. On this, executive privilege was Nixon with those tapes. Executive agreement was Bush with the Mexicans. That was the one with the Mexicans dealing with the use of drones on the borders. There you go. That was that one. The executive order one is the Obama clip, and that is a good example, but man, that was complicated. So make sure that you can explain it if you use it. These others are probably a little bit better. Go ahead, click it. And you notice up here, straight from the definitions, touch the house, pick me a category, Sean's group. Congress five. They gave me the last correct answer. Congress five. Congress five. List all you can. Click it, David. Reasons for high incumbency. First hand I see. Actually, you guys have it. First hand I see has got it next. Reasons for high incumbency for members of Congress. Name recognition. 
Go ahead, what is name recognition? Uh, when you're piggybacking off of the recognition from someone else, kind of like uh, in The Distinguished Gentleman with Eddie Go ahead about The Distinguished Gentleman. So, the individual that was in office had died long before, no one knew about it. However, comma, However. he used comma. he used his name <laughs> and, and his name recognition and went throughout all these different neighborhoods to sell himself the to The longer gain. that you stay in Congress, the, the more, more the people are going to know your name. They just recognize it. And you're right, he kind of played funny business with that. Distinguished gentleman is a good example of name recognition. Give me another one. Uh, gerrymandering? What's gerrymandering? That... Actually, gerrymandering, you don't have to know on the exam. I removed it, so don't tell me that. Give me another one. Five, four, anybody in the group? Three, reason for incumbency. Yeah. Two, wow, there's a lot of them. One, go. <laughs> I saw your hands. <laughs> it is true, you did. Okay. Name recognition is one. Five. Oh, four, you're getting ready to fall. Three, anybody? Two, one. You guys want in on this? This is second place. High incumbency, franking privilege. Money, staff, this came straight from the outline on this. If you remember, franking is the idea of free postage and printing for mailings back to the district. In Distinguished Gentlemen, they mention money. You get paid, whereas the challengers don't get paid. Your staff gets paid. Their staff does not get paid by the government. These kinds of things. So go back and look at that. Name recognition, money, staff, franking, and then ultimately experience. The longer this you stay, the better the committees you get. Touch the house. Pick me a category, Shines Group. And we've got 37 to 33. Second place is in doubt. Judiciary five. Judiciary for five. I think we have to draw one more. I need somebody to come up and draw. You're good. It's good. That's what I need you to draw. Got it? Okay. Got it? Yep. Got it? Okay, one. Sherry, one minute on the six, go! <laughs> oh my. That's a good one. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Five, 15 seconds. Yeah, it is an outhouse. What's the significance of outhouse from the judiciary chapter? Five. Four, three, three two, two, one, go! Go ahead, explain it to me! Explain it to me! Explain it to me. <laughs> so, okay. Why are you putting them up there? Wait, they, they guessed it right. Go ahead. What? Who they guessed it right? Yeah, we only have a few oh, more minutes. they guessed Outhouse. All right, so they got the outhouse. No, they got Outhouse, but you have to explain it. Go. Yeah, Larry Flint and Hustler Magazine was talking about, what was his name? Five, four, what's his name? He was a three, Hibba, you were here for this today. Yeah. Two, one, Jerry Flint. I mean, Jerry Flint. Y'all have it now. Tell me the story of Hustler Magazine. We don't get any points for Hustler Magazine. Four, three, two, one, you're done. Go ahead. It was Falwell, yeah. I'll give you points for that. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, y'all really came back from the dead. Understand on this. As you go. Not who it's about. Jerry Falwell? No, what did you say? Jerry Flint? Jerry Flint? Jerry Flint? I heard Jerry Flint. What did he say? Hatzler Magazine. Is it going to like. What? Yeah. Come on. I said negative. Negative. 38, 37, <laughs> first place. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Touch the, hit the, the light switch really quick. And let's run through these. Congress for two. Click, click on Congress for two. Hit the lights, Big B. This was Pictionary. This would have been spanking. You remember the spanking article? Be able to explain that. Click it. Um, touch the house. Go fast. Four points for Congress. Ex post facto and bill of attainder. These are both from Article 1, Section 9 limits. Ex post facto literally means after, after the fact or retroactive laws. Bill of attainder, passing a law declaring someone innocent or guilty of a crime. Both of these are illegal, but they're straight definitions. Touch the house. Okay, executive for three. List all you can. Click it. 
Presidential vetoes. There's the veto, pocket the pocket veto. veto, the line item veto. This is all in 12 minutes of the How a Bill Becomes a Law video. Take a good look at that because it breaks it down. Touch the house. Uh, five. Click it. Youngstown versus Sawyer was the case the other day that dealt with the three tests. Do you remember? President and Congress agree. Presidential authority is at its highest. President uh, acts company. alone with the steel company. It's still significant. President likely wins. President and Congress disagree. Presidential authority is at its lowest level. And in this case, it was at the lowest level. Touch the house. Articles for two. Click it. Sex offenders. There's a link that deals with Georgia sex offenders. There's the ex post facto article that deals with sex offenders. Take a look at those. Articles for four. Soap bubble. Do you remember the tests for voting rights? Soap bubble, jelly bean, literacy test, grandfather clause. There's a video online. Take a look at it. If you will, sign your names to a piece of paper. If you will sign your name to plus 14, if you will sign your name to plus 10, if you will sign your name to plus 12, 12, if you will sign their paper, and if you will sign their paper, and if you just shut it down.